I am pleased to present the nine month data from the eCoin pivotal trial. Six urologists and nine urogynecologists implanted 133 devices in seven months. The procedure was designed by the plastic surgeon Subrosen with an emphasis on reproducibility and safety. My disclosures as listed. The coin-like device is implanted above the tibial nerve and delivers a dome-like stimulation from the center cathode to the anode electrode at the outermost edge. Two unique tools are used for consistent coin placement and pocket creation. Automatic, low-duty intermittent stimulation is delivered, avoiding compliance and maintenance issues, often hindering current OAB therapies. For the study design, special attention was given to the leg to reduce the risk of poor wound healing. These were refractory patients who had failed prior OAB therapies with the except, exception of sacral neuromodulation. Note that patients with neurogenic bladder, bladder pain, retention, and predominant stress incontinence were excluded. The 20 minute procedure is reproducible, modest, and requires minimal resources. Please view the 2020 ICS abstract as listed for a video detailing the eCoin procedure steps. Distinct features include the use of only local anesthetic, the ability to counsel patients about post-procedure expectations during the prep time, a small three centimeter incision and delivery of the device above the fascia in a pocket. For my 26 implants, none required cautery, narcotics, or IV antibiotics. There's no need for a C-arm or ultrasound, nor interrogation of the device. Although placement is more specific compared to sacral neuromodulation IPG surgery, the procedure has a short learning curve and should allow for an efficient workflow. Anticipate standardized kits similar to a central line with commercialization. Post-op compliance was achievable. After activation, there's seamless maintenance with set it and forget it. The therapy is automatic with no patient involvement with a three year battery average with the current generation device. Voiding diaries, subjective intake and safety review was performed at week four, followed by 12 week intervals out to 48 weeks. The population was typical for wet OAB being highly bothered with an impaired quality of life. 97% of those enrolled were implanted with no trial procedure or screen preventing the implant procedure. 12 of 15 providers had no prior implant experience. For UUI, 73% were at least 50% better. 48% were 75% improved, and 30% were dry. The mean drop in UI was minus 59%, with a median of minus 73%, indicating responders are doing very well. Note the delayed onset of action, but the sustained drop of minus 2.71 UI per day from 8 to 36 weeks. There was a significant reduction in bother symptoms and improvement in quality of life. 77% are better or above, which lines up with the objective change. 37% are very much better. As expected with the lower leg, 12% experienced mild to moderate healing issues that resolved. The infection rate resulting in explant was 2.3%. Small migrations up the nerve or microlateral movements prior to encapsulation had no effect on efficacy. These photos show the incision immediately and eight weeks post procedure. In summary, 73% are at least 50% better in UI and 30% are dry at nine months. Explants for infection are within the norm for FDA neuromodulation safety and efficacy data. After FDA approval, eCoin will provide an appealing choice delivered with minimal resources. This automatic therapy for years will potentially 
better penetrate the undertreated OAB population not well managed with current burdensome and or undesirable options often compromised by poor adherence. Thank you.